Let's do this for real. Sorry it took so long. You know what these legal types are like? Yes, sir. No, sir. Here's 80 pages of needless jargon, sir. Anyway, believe it or not, this is my excited face. Come on. Come on. Let me show you what we've got. So, all the usual stuff. Merchandising, likeness, blah, blah, blah. But the really juicy stuff is their expectation of you. They need you to challenge yourself all season, be the best you can be, dominate your teammate, become a legend. All that jazz. Now, it's over to you. This is it all, we have done it. Toto Wolf kept his word after our F2 performances. We have signed a contract in Formula 1. We are driving for Williams for the 2024 season alongside Alex Albon. James Fowles given us the seat and got rid of Logan Sargent. Welcome then to the first round of our formula one career we're doing a 10 race season we're starting off here in australia before we go to japan imola monaco canada silverstone spa zanvort monza and we round the season out in brazil this is the helmet we will be running for this season we we'll have some special helmets along the way but this is what we're starting the season with so let's go then to australia where for our first qualifying of our career I was hoping it was a bit more plain sailing, but it, it is a wet qualifying here in Australia. I'm not hoping it be too much out of the start. This is our first weekend, of course, but the guys will be on us after winning the Formula 2 Championship last time out last season now in 2023. But by the time we skip on to the end of qualifying, the track was beginning to dry. You can see the dry line bit on the inters and we found three and a half seconds, maybe four seconds to up, past my best time on the full wet tyres and it means we'll start the race. P17. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We're in the great state of Victoria. Now 14 corners and 3.28 miles for the drivers to navigate. Five to the left and nine to the right. The track has been remodeled to encourage more overtaking. Let's hope we get loads of it today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Perez, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Sainz, Bottas, Gasly, Joe, Stroll, Albon, Ocon, Brown, Ricardo, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, and Yuki Tsunoda. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Hello everyone, I'm Alex Jakes. Joining me for this one, a real authority on all things four-wheel. Naomi Schiff is alongside me. Well, welcome back. Let's start with a nice, easy question. How do you stop Max Verstappen? The answer was no, but it is a new year and that means new cars and hopefully new packages from all the team. So last year, we have to say that although there was one car that was extremely dominant, the midfield was extremely competitive. So everyone behind that Red Bull 
Mercedes, Ferrari, McLaren, Aston Martin, they all came and had highlights at some point in the season. So I'm hoping to see them bring the fight to Red Bull. Here we go then. The formation lap is underway here in Australia. The atmosphere around this circuit is electric and the crowd are hoping for an exciting race from the drivers today. make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out. Let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one. It will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books. This is it then, the five red lights come on for our first race, we were promoted to 17th because of a Sonoda penalty, but we're underway for the first time in Formula 1, we're in the back of our we're going to go to the inside, we've nearly gone on the grass now, we're going to the inside though, into turn 1, but we've been really squeezed to the inside by our teammates, and Daniel Ricciardo's got a great run off of turn 2 to get us into turn 3, we're going to send it though, back down the inside of him, he wants a good result, this is his own ground play, we're trying to go round the outside of him, we're nearly going down the inside, we've had to live to fight another day, and stay behind him for now, but we're going to be on him to try and get past, and we've got a great run here, third round the lap, we're going to the outside, we're going to use our straight line speed in our Williams, to drive past him, he's still there on the outside, but Daniel Ricciardo has to give in, and he has a little wobble there, if he thought about going to the outside, he has to lift, because he's so close to us. Next up though, is Ocon in the Alpine, we've only gained one position here at the start, as Daniel Ricciardo, as we wait for it on Ocon, has a big, biggest lunge like he always does, trying to get back around the outside of us but we say no, we're going to look at the inside of, of Ocon again there but it's put off offline and we've gone wide out the final corner and Daniel Ricciardo sneak back through to retake P16 on the opening lap this has been a great battle but we're going to tuck in this slipstream, go back around the outside force him to back out, really squeeze him to the inside of turn 1 and finally We've got the job done on the Australian and we can turn our attention to Esteban Ocon further. Ricardo started to drop back. We had very good pace on these medium tyres in the early stages of the Grand Prix. Lap 3 now with side by side of Ocon. That out being quite good in a straight line but not quick enough for uh, Williams. We go sailing around the outside at the quick chicane. Next up though is our teammate Alex Albon after really we've gone back because he's pinched us on the opening lap but I weren't too sure if we were allowed to overtake him. Obviously we don't want to start any rivalry in the first race of the career mode with our teammate. We don't want to upset the apple cart in the way okay, so we were wait. just holding okay. back. There's Alexander ahead. Right here we go. Let's look to get past quickly and put them on the back foot. So if Mark's telling us to go for it, I guess we're racing, I guess we're allowed to race. So let's just go for it and he's holding us up and he's trying to be nice but if we're allowed to overtake him, we're going for it. Down the inside of the quick chicane, job done on our teammate. Now we're sure we've got to get away, otherwise we'll probably have to swap back round. We're on the back now of the Sauber of Valtteri Bottas because that's the mail out in 2023 we're on the back row of Bottas as we get closer and closer he's one round here before back in 2019 we're going to the outside of him we're gonna go round the outside we've got the job done on Bottas and now we're on the back of Joe can we get both Salbers in two corners we're closing we're closing we're going for the lunge down the inside yes we can We've got both fibers 
ticked off in just two corners now we are flying we're on the back now of the Aston Martin of Sir Lancelot he's going wheel to wheel with Gasly they're both side by side we've got the popcorn head ready to pick up the scraps Gasly holds on though but now that's given us a great launch off of that corner we're getting closer and closer here to the back of Stroll we're going to send it down the inside we're going to take both of them here maybe no we're not we've had a little wobble we're still side by side with Lance Stroll we're going to give him a little elbow for Stroll wide Joe's got through and we're up another place we are flying we are smelling points on debut this race as we're side by side with Gazoo we've gone in way before the corner that puts us inside the top 10 we're going to get points on our debut potentially from starting P17 in the early stages of this Grand Prix we are flying lap 13 now and this is where we will be making our one and only stop of the day those behind us stay out to be nearly at the wall coming into the pits we are going to go on the hard tyre to get us to the end of the race that was the strategy we were given we were given in the brief form unless anything else happened but pretty much plain sailing so far and we were actually just keeping in touch with this pack ahead of us you can see with the Ferraris and the McLarens of Piastri we were just keeping the gap to them which made me think we maybe should have upped the difficulty a bit just because of what was happening but this is Joe going round the outside of Gazi it's a great move also this is allowing us to get away with the undercut to pull us a gap to them hopefully so further around the lap then we just watched Joe got get past Gasly and all of them now are boxing for their one and only stop of the day I think they're all on mediums there is some cars that are still going longer starting on the cards can Sauber get a quick pick stop unlike real life yes they can as just at the road you can see that this is some of those behind and we're not far off of them. We are not far off as they're coming out of the pitch. Joe is just beat out his teammate Bottas. And this is going quite well for us here. In the early stages of this quite I believe the mid stages. Look how close we are to the McLarens and the Ferraris. This is great pace on our part. We're having an excellent debut as Bottas overtakes his teammate they both jump Gasly at this stage of the Grand Prix then we were pulling away from the Salvas behind us we got now two and a half seconds and we were just staying in touch with the cars in front the Ferraris and the McLarens we got just over a second we just couldn't quite break DRS to have a go so we're doing an excellent debut here and that was kind of our race but up front it was spicing up between the two Red Bulls and George Russell the two Red Bulls were fighting and George Russell was just slowly catching the Red Bulls it's now it is Verstappen behind Perez Max is going to go to the outside Max is going to do it round the outside good move there by Max Verstappen Perez for once is at the front but Max is still now in front. It's a great move by Max. I guess Perez probably weren't told to fight that one too much. But here he comes again. Perez ain't having any of it. Perez is going back at him. Perez is going to the inside. But Max holds it round the outside. But surely, surely, Red Bull need to put in team orders because as you can see there George Russell has caught the Red Bulls Red Bull are having a nightmare here they need to do team orders as we down the inside goes Perez Perez retakes the lead of the Grand Prix from for snapping George Russell has just got the popcorn here he can just pick up the scraps if these two take each other out Max has also got front wing damage you can see there on the end plate so that's not helping him so surely, surely, they have to tell Max to let Perez go. Max is going to be eaten up, surely. As Max goes to the inside, Perez has got the quicker car and the less damaged car. 
but Red Bull are really needing to do something here. They need to do a multi-21 situation, surely, because George Russell had a chance of winning this Grand Prix. As further back, this is what was happening in our race. We were starting to slowly fall back from the Ferraris and the McLarens, but we continued to open the gap on those behind the two Salvers and our teammate in the mix as well. But this now is the two Red Bulls still going at it. George is just biding his time as Verstappen, copy and paste of the movie did earlier, round the outside of his teammate, retakes the lead, and Perez is coming back at him. Perez on the out in the inside. Perez is a lot more on one side than he was earlier on, but Max still has the traction. Now have a look around the outside. I don't think George is quite close enough to have a go on the Red Bulls just yet. He just needs to bide his time. But as we go through the new section of track, George Russell is very much closer here as Perez is getting closer to Verstappen. But George is getting closer to the Red Bulls. He's going to go to the outside. He's got one Red Bull. He's side by side with Verstappen. He's gone round the outside. George Russell pulls off one of the most brilliant moves I've ever seen from the AI. Both Red Bulls done round the outside of that quick chicane. What a move by the Mercedes. Red Bull stunned. They were too busy fighting each other and it's just allowed the Mercedes of George Russell just to sweep through quite literally. This is Perez's point of view and you can see there he's just had nowhere to go. He's nearly at the back of his teammate and our race you can see here going back the gap now nearly three seconds to those in front but nearly 10 seconds to those behind. We are getting the gap out still. Lap 29. This is the final lap of the race. As now Verstappen is coming back. He wants his win back. And Verstappen is going to take George Russell on the final lap. George's new big move may come to nothing because Max Verstappen has retaken the lead in the final sector of the Grand Prix. Max Verstappen could win this Grand Prix. He's robbed George Russell, surely. But George has got an excellent exit coming off of the final corner. George is getting closer and closer. It's going to be a photo finish. Who's done it? George Russell's done it on the line. Max Verstappen nearly denies in the win, but George does it on the line, and we're going to come home for points right, on Take debut, the the great P10. A great race then, and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. Well, they kept us guessing during pre-season testing, we all wondered who it was going to be, and to have them drawn out here today, that they are the ones to beat, just goes to show that all the work they put in has really counted. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. That is what 56 thousandths of a second looks like in Formula 1. If the straight was just a little bit shorter, Max would have denied George in the final corners. What a race to start off our Formula 1 career. A battle quite literally to the line for the win. Red Bull have bottled it this race they've thrown an easy one two away by fighting each other and it's allowed george to sneak through us on debut though we come home from starting p17 to get points on debut we'll take that 
that's a great result for us as long as we can keep that up now let's see what can happen in the future but it's a good way to start off our formula one career after the faith Toto Wolf has put in us over the last season in Formula 2 we've massively outperformed our teammate as well Alex Albon he's gone down in P16 after I weren't too sure whether we were allowed to overtake him once we overtook him we just left him in our mirrors and have taken points from the Grand Prix that win for George Russell means Mercedes are top of the constructors by just two points over Red Bull and then we are P6 with just one single point ahead of Sauber, Alpine, Haas and RB who are all yet to still score a point after the first round but that's been the first race of our Formula 1 career it's a great way to start off our Formula 1 career with points and the only way surely is up from here let's see what happens in the next race when we go to suzuka we'll see you then goodbye